if you just do your degree, you get a certain set of skills. Yes. And when you think of companies who want to hire ideal graduates, you think you picture the ideal graduate, the person who's really going to impact their, uh, the world around them. You think of their set of skills. And I, I'd say there's quite a discrepancy between what skills you get from your degree and what skills you really need in the, in the real world. And then think about the project that we've done. I'd say that actually our project has given us more of those marketable, usable skills than our degree. That's the point. Yeah, the first time, one of the first times we had a meeting with Naomi and I talked, uh, we needed help with a present. We had to give a workshop to an actual event, and we had no idea how to do that. We were terrified. We were telling people who are experts yeah. in teaching and learning about what teaching and learning is from a student perspective. And we were engineers, we've never done anything about teaching and learning. Uh, we were absolutely terrified, and we walked into our office with a series of bullet points. So, so this is what we want to talk about. I said, right, let's do a mind map. <laughs> yeah. And we looked at each other and we were terrified, weren't we? Yes. Absolutely terrified, because we don't use mind maps. No, we, no. And, yeah. and, but now, now it's fair to say that every presentation we do from now on, we start with yeah. a mind map. It's really changed our way of thinking and so it opened our eyes to how, how isolated and how constrained our own method of thinking was. Mm. Interdisciplinarity, in this sense, has definitely, yeah. has definitely opened our eyes to working with different groups and how we can take our method of thinking and apply it to different scenarios and different settings and equally how other groups and ways of thinking can be applied to our problems. We definitely feel much more comfortable going out into the world of work and more, much more confident in our abilities as a result of this project and I have part of my degree, mm -hmm. certainly. I think there are very few ways, we realise, you can incorporate those skills into a traditional academic setting. And if you want to develop these hypothetical ideal graduates, these graduates who have the skills about leadership, the kind of person who's not afraid to speak out their ideas in meetings, the kind of person who can think outside the box, the kind of person who can write a post, the kind of person who can network, the only way you're going to get that is through open-ended, self-initiated projects. What I would say though is that we're not smart. <laughs> we, we, we're not smart. This is this is kind of the effect the project has had on us. So we started off as engineers, and the work this project has done on me has made me have these ideas and have these, I'd argue, quite valuable insights in some ways. Mm. So don't look at it as we are smart people who've solved a problem in a way. Look at it in terms of this project has kind of taken us on and developed us. That's the most important the project. The project has been a vessel for us, really, and everyone mm -hmm. has been involved in it. I think so.